we have uh, four distilleries over the next couple of days mm -hmm. and probably some other shenanigans along yeah, the way. Wineries and yeah. potluck and a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. Today we're headed out to. Um, Four Roses. Shit. I had a brain fart. <laughs> Leslie's going to tell you where we're headed today because I can't think. <laughs> where are we headed? We're headed to Four Roses and Heaven Hill. Yeah. I had a little <laughs> bit to drink last night. <laughs> So did everybody else. I wonder how everybody's getting up and getting around. Yeah. Because there was... Well, some went to bed earlier than us, so they're probably doing okay. Well, they went to bed earlier than us because they had a few more than us. <laughs> Maybe. <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> that could be true. I'm trying to pace myself, man. I know this is a marathon out here yeah. at the Bourbon Trail. You mm -hmm. can't just haul off and yeah. go balls. You can't kid in a candy shop it. <laughs> no, you, you can't go all in. Yeah. Never go full bourbon no, on day one. No, don't do that. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. We're starting at the Four Roses Distillery for our Louisville trip. The whole crew is getting checked in and getting ready to go. Alright, we're getting ready to start the tour. They gave me a little thing with the headset. Uh, so I think that means I'm in charge. I think that means I'm in charge of the tour. And then everybody grabs some cocktails. Cocktails or mocktails. The cocktails are in the black cups and the mocktails are in the red for the designated drivers today. We're getting information. The tour guide up there is talking. We all have headsets, so no matter how far away from her that we are, we can hear what's going on. So it's very convenient. I can lag back here in the back and film a little bit and I don't have to worry about staying up close with the group so I can hear everything she's saying right here. We're done with the tour portion and now we are going to taste. We know how well I do with tasting. Yeah, I can't wait to see. Yeah. We got the regular Four Roses bourbon, Four Roses small batch, Four Roses single barrel, and Four Roses small batch select. You'll have to let me know what your favorite is. The tour was really cool. Yes. I mean, most of these distilleries are all the same, but yeah. you get to see the intricacies and what makes each distillery distinct when you go on the tours. Yeah. What they do differently from any other distilleries. Mm -hmm. And Four Roses has like 10 different recipes, yes. which is unique to yes, them. Yes, very unique. The grounds out here are beautiful. It's so gorgeous. It's exactly what you think of well, for a distillery. I love it all. Green, rolling hills. Yeah. All beautiful that stuff. Spanish building. And our tour guide was really cool. Yes, very nice. Very novel. Novel. And the coolest part about this is we got to do it with a bunch of friends. Yeah. So this was way this funner was than if you come by yourself. Than when we just yeah. do things on our own. And they gave me a sippy cup. Yeah. Well, all in all, for the cost of the tour, you get the tour, the tasting, free drink, the sippy cup, and the glasses. I mean, it's a pretty yeah. good deal out here. You have the liquor filled sippy cup. I have the non liquor filled. Sippy cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna finish up here. I'll probably grab a bottle or something. So, yeah. Probably small batch because that's yeah, what I like that's the what best. You like. Yeah. And then we're heading off to another distillery, and we'll take you with us when we go there too. Hi. All right. We finished up with Four Roses. Now we're over at Heaven Hill. Yeah. And uh, self-guided tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can pay for tasting. Yeah, but well, we didn't. But the tour is self-guided. Yeah. And so Heaven Hill makes Larceny. Elijah Craig, Evan Williams, and some other brands. I didn't realize it was that many. Yeah, so this is like a catch-all. So nice. if you want to catch a few different brands in one spot, Heaven Hill is a good spot to do, to do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I already kind of know what all those taste like, so I really didn't really need to do the, the tasting. tasting. So I already kind of know which bottles I'm after. It's so far, it's a beautiful campus. I like it. Yeah, I can't wait to see how much access you get with the self-guided tour. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be really cool though. Yeah, I'm excited. Over here they have the different levels of the charring of the barrels and they have little bulbs that have whiskey in them so you squeeze that you can smell the charring in the barrel this is level five this is the the longest char so 70 seconds of char which you get like more of that barrel that wood that spice flavor yeah. when they're charred that long let's see what leslie thinks about the old level five smell of the barrel okay. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> We're on the self-guided tour now. It's really cool. Yeah. Totally free. You don't have to pay for it at all. But it tells you about the history of all the bourbons that they have. Yeah. You have to smell the, the barrels. Yeah. At the char levels. Cool. It, it tells you about um, all their brands. Mm -hmm. um, the aging process. The fermentation process. So I feel like 
You don't really need a tour unless you want to see inside behind yeah. the scenes. You really don't need a tour here, I don't think. No. You can see if everything. You've been in one. Yeah. Uh, the story tour. Because yeah. really, the only differences on the tours is the story behind the brand. Yeah. They may tweak things a little different than another brand, but yeah, basic stuff is the same. Even if you don't do the tour or the tasting, they have a bar upstairs. So you can come up here and order your favorite drink. The grounds out here at Heaven Hill are beautiful also. You can see all of the barrel houses out here where they age their whiskey. Just, I mean, rows and rows of barrel houses. And those are, what, six stories high and just full of barrels of bourbon. I had to come down to the gift shop. I got to figure out what, what bottle I'm going to get. But we got the old fighting cock. She won't go down without a fight. <laughs> this is really cool back here. We didn't do this, but we have friends that are in here doing this. And they're filling their own bottle of whiskey. And then they're labeling their own bottle. Even putting the little label tab over the top. So it's very custom and it's a very cool collector's item if you come to something like this. This is Grandma's RV Park or resort. I don't know if it's park or resort. It's one of those. But it's grandma's. And we stayed here before. Last time we were in Louisville, we stayed here. And this time we got the end spot. So we got the little landscaping that's nice and pretty. We got a gravel spot. It's really level. So that's nice. All right, let me see if we can get this right. I'm going to try to get this right. These are mostly Wagsters that came here for our Wagster meetup. And Wagsters are our insiders on Patreon. So we have Jim and Carol up here in the Paradigm. And then we have Ricky and Barbara from RV Underway in the Class A. Uh, the next little Class C is, is a transient, but he's a Marine. We got to meet him and he's nice. We got Amy and George in the Montana here. We have Teresa and Grumpy Old Wolf in the Super C. And then we have John and Belinda in the Reflection, Jerry and Teresa in this Montana, and then we're down here on the very end. There's a pavilion in the back where we're gonna be hanging out for most of the time, so we'll take you along with, with uh, with us when we go and hang out with the Wagsters. Hey, and check it out, right behind our site, across the road, hey, little donkeys. Oh man, hi, the little donkeys. Hello. Hi, fellas. What you doing? So if you're looking for a little ass, <laughs> come to Grandma's RV campground here in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. You can find a little ass. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.